Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge with episode six of Profitable Mining in the Entropia Universe. Uh, I was going to make this a two spreadsheet video, but I decided against it because it would have been too long. Nobody wants to go to work every day watching videos on how to create spreadsheets. If you don't happen to have a spreadsheet uh, for an auction house calculator in the Entropia Universe, this will server, serve as one of those for you, I hope. And I'm going through the details of actually how to use your Outlook uh, account to use Excel if you don't already have Microsoft Office on your computer. Then you can save this to the cloud and you can pull it up anytime, anywhere you want as a valuable auction house tool for the Entropy Universe. If you do not own a copy of Microsoft Office, you may be able to actually you will be able to use uh, Outlook if you have an Outlook account a Microsoft account and you can just come to the top left corner of your Outlook account you will see the the nine little dots you click on that it will get you to Microsoft 365 and then you can see Excel there clicking on Excel will open up this window that you see here in the big part so then the next step here is to click on new blank workbook and you can save that workbook to the cloud, which will be accessible from any device that has internet in the future. So it won't have to be just device specific like I originally had uh, with Office and so forth. Now you just can get it from Outlook anywhere. Once you've clicked on a new spreadsheet, new workbook, this is what you'll see. All the goodies that come along with it. This is actually pretty straightforward. I'm going to walk you through each and every step. Uh, and so if you want to fast forward at any point, certainly feel free to do so if this part is boring to you or whatever and you already have one of these things. Or, you know, if, if, if you already know how to use Excel, you can just look at the cells as I go through. The first thing I'm going to do is rename this sheet because I'm going to add a lot of things to this particular workbook. So I'm going to call this the Auction House Markup Calculator. Uh, I figure that's pretty appropriate for what we're going to do in this and then let's start with the next set of cells we'll start with the beginning here in cell a one and i'm just going to put in ah ped number which refers to the number of ped values in the auction house obviously you start at one going to two to three to four and so on and so forth um so that's my that's my plan there so we're going to center everything as i go along and then i'll just do that as a matter of course, but I don't know if you haven't already used Excel, all you need to do to populate the cells with a bunch of numbers is to type two or three of the numbers in. I'll put what, four or five in here, highlight those, bottom right corner of the highlighted box, there's a little black dot, take that and pull it down. I'm going to pull that all the way down to 1000. You can see it populated there. So yeah, I'm going to pull that down to 1000 real quick and then we'll go from there. Okay, we have 1,001 cells, just a little bit more than we need, that's fine. We're going to go back up to the top here, then let's populate this next cell with number of items, or number of items, equals percent markup, basically. That's really what we're going to be looking at. So how many items does it take? And this is going to be a fractional number, but I'm just going to get these the header cells done first, and then I'll go and put in the formulas. Next up, I'm going to put in a round uh, column because obviously you're not going to be selling fractional items in the uh, in the auction house. And then I'm going to put a couple of cells in here that you do not have to put in, which is value difference. And it's uh, how the auction ped number relates to the TT value. And then, of course, uh, how I'm going to call the next one optimum value. And that's the, again, it's a relationship between the ped number and the TT value of something. So I can get the optimal value of items sold. The numbers will change, and they're usually pretty close to, together, and there is a repeating pattern, and I look for that pattern. But that's for my own personal uh, spreadsheet. You do not have to put optimal value uh, and value difference in if you do not want to. Uh, then, of course, markup and item TT value, base value. So the split of one item uh, whatever that base TT value is. And then the markup that you want to achieve or the markup of an order in the auction house. That's what these two columns are for. 
So now I'm just going to throw some numbers in here. 1, which equals 100%. I'll put the decimal in later when I change the cell properties for the number. And then an item value, which is 1 peck. I'm just going to do this to check my work to make sure that what comes out in this number of items equals percent markup column is actually 100, because that's what it should be. And to start a function, you always put equals. And then once you have the equal sign, we're going to multiply the mu, the markup, at times the item's TT value, cell. And you do that by putting those in parentheses and then clicking on the cells. But to multiply them, you need to put the operator uh, asterisk between the two. And then we're going to take that and we are going to put that in parentheses and get the reciprocal of that. And then that will give us the value that we are looking for because 1 times 0.01 obviously is 0.01. So 1 divided by 0.01 is 100. So there you have that. So I'm just checking my work to make sure I'm getting this correct. And that's and I'm hoping that other people will see that. And if you're not familiar with Excel, this will help you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. So now I need to multiply the number uh, that I have in the number of items equals percent markup cell times the number of auction house ped because the auction house only deals in whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ped, what, so on and so forth. You have to multiply it times that number so that you can round it to see how many items you need to have to get to uh, the auction house ped number because that's what you're going to put in and say, oh, I want to sell this for one ped or two ped or three ped. So I hope that, that makes some sense. But that's the, that's the key there is to put that in. And then we're going to populate all of those cells. But before we do that, the one thing that has to happen is the markup and the item TT value have to remain constant. So I, to do that, you actually go, whoops, I'm clicking on extra cells here. Uh, to do that, you actually put in a dollar sign before the values. And as you can see, I'm going to put a, a dollar sign before the G then a dollar sign before the two, and the same with the next column for the TT, dollar sign before the H, and dollar sign before the two. That will hold these values constant as we populate all of the cells from one down to 1,000. And you can see that translates exactly the way it should be. So we've got 200, 300, 400. So we know that we've our math is correct, and that the population, that the values of the markup and the TT will stay constant. So let me populate those values. Okay, populate down to a thousand. Let's go back up to the top here and put in a different value for the markup now that we know our math is correct. We're going to put in 105%, which is 1.05. And you can see now how the values change in the number of items equals percent markup. So it's the same one PEC uh, value, TT value item, but the, the markup is now 105%. So let's say you wanted to sell something that had that value. Now you can calculate, all you have to do is change the markup value. And then you can say calculate how many of these items, but you can mentally round them up or you can round them up using a round function. And that's what I'm going to do in this particular column. So just put equals and I'm going to put round and then it's just going to ask me to, you know, round up or round down. That's it. You know, it's a, actually, it's a really straightforward deal. Then you just, you pick the columns that you want to round up and you populate those from here and see, I just click on B2. And I'm going to say how many I want, which is zero um, figures, right? And then we're just going to drag that down, and that'll populate all the fields. And we're going to drag that down again all the way to the bottom, and uh, we'll see how that goes from there. See, there's just a little, a few examples. So those rounds we can do in our head, but I do it just because it, it's nice to have that column sitting there for easy, uh, easy reference. So there's your calculator for the auction house. This is real basic stuff. But it will help you, I think, tremendously in the future when you're, and then of course down the road you may not need it as much, but when you're looking at something and trying to decide, okay, I've got it, there's an order in the auction house and it's 105% and the value, TT value of one of my items is 0 0.01 PED. Uh, I can actually calculate that out. I can say, okay, over here on the left, I have more than, I have 800 of something. So can I go, I can sell 762 at 8 PED and been pretty much hit that markup or below that. She would be coming in below that. And so that helps you when you're trying to hit a specific target markup, either for an order or just for a regular sale so that you can dial it in 
so that you can guarantee, not guarantee, but at least you can have a better chance of getting your items to sell on the auction house because you're hitting the exact markups that you want to be hitting, or at least so close that uh, that minuscule amount isn't going to matter enough to not get a sale. It would just be that it isn't selling. So there is the auction house markup calculator. Please leave questions down in the comments if you have any questions at all about uh, how I set this up. So there's the, uh, the markup calculator, the auction house markup calculator. I'm hoping that that is a good tool that everyone can use. And I hope I described it in, in sufficient detail so that you can actually just make one for yourself quickly and easily, uh, even if you're not any good at Excel or have ever done it before, and where you can access Excel. It's important to me to get this kind of information out there so that you can become auction house savvy. And that is really the, God, I want, I want that to be the big take home message from all of these videos is that the more savvy you become, the more ped you have on your card, the more ped you have to play with. But also it helps the economy tremendously. It, it keeps PED flowing in a way that keeps all players active. And so it's just little bits and pieces like this. So next episode is going to be profit and loss, uh, mining. I'm going to dial that in and uh, we're going to set you up. Hopefully it'll be just a simple, quick, and easy video just like this. Thank you all for watching. Ciao for now.